Saturday. I meant to say good morning to you before um, I headed to the gym, but I have now completed my gym workout and I feel amazing. This class they had today is different from like body pump that I normally take. Oh my gosh, it's one of those like stations that you have set up. Not really a boot camp, but this woman started out as a sub and got certified through the gym and taught this class for the first time when I was out of town for my birthday. And um, she subbed before and I think I, I was in the class, I can't remember. But anyway, she is better than any of the instructors at this gym in my opinion. I mean, it's, I feel every muscle in my body guys. So I'm happy I went. This is the first day back since my birthday trip to New York City. It was heavenly, happy 50th to me. I am so blessed and so happy to see another year. I am so grateful. Um, several people, it's funny that God was speaking and you know, I kept hearing um, health is wealth. You know, no matter how much money you make and all that, that can come and go, but you take care of your health, that's life, you know. It puts things in perspective. I know it has for my 50th and leading up to it, so I am just thrilled. First of all, welcome, if this is your first time on my channel. Um, for those who are my OGs, I went through a rebranding and my channel name is different. It um, was changed from This Southern Girl Cooks. Um, so back then I did just primarily cooking you know, and I don't know, just coming into this year, I want to share more of my life um, other than cooking. I want to share things with my husband, just, you know, really intimate conversations um, and real life conversations, topics, that kind of thing. It's, I hope that you'll enjoy that, but I do want to switch it up because it's more to me than cooking, even though I love it and I will continue to share some delicious recipes, especially with the holidays coming. I am excited to do that, but guys i have so much to tell you and i'm pretty much working on my camera images and uploading uh, videos of footage new york city was amazing guys i got to meet hoda kopi who is one of my all-time um just favorites i have admired her since i can remember i met al roker uh craig melvin i have pictures and guys we were actually on the today show we had my 50th birthday sign, and I have those clips that I'll insert in the video, and I'll try to insert here, possibly. But guys, it was a, an experience of a lifetime, and I will never forget this birthday, and I am happy to share that with you. But that's just an example of some of the moments I would like to share. So that's why I changed the channel name um, to a more fitting one. I'm just leaving the car, I had to switch my phone holder over my husband took my car so we switched at the gym because my the light came on saying that my air pressure is low and it usually does that around this time of the year you know when it gets cool so we may have to get me a new tire because this happens a little too often even when it's a little warmer here so but we'll see but right now I'm on my way home from the gym it was such a good workout my husband is just a my rock as you many of you may know I've said before in previous videos lost quite a bit of weight um, I was definitely I work from home so I was snacking a lot not moving worth anything especially during COVID and that's where all my weight came from <laughs> so my husband has been a blessing and he has whipped my tail into shape and I am just feeling amazing amazing so that's that um, so this is my first gym class back since we left for vacation. It feels so good to be back. I wanted to hop on and say good morning and happy Saturday, and I hope you're well. Health is wealth, and I hope we get out and move some today just to get some exercise. But yeah, guys, I am on my way home. I think I just want some cream of wheat this morning, nothing fancy. We ate so good in New York. Oh, I have two, no, three brand uh, collaborations to do. It's like received some PR packages while we were in New York. So I need to definitely work on those to get those filmed and uh, scheduled to live for the three brands. So that's always fun with the holidays coming around. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to participate in Vlogmas. Y'all let me know in the comment section if you're interested. Um, so it's just busy. Like Thanksgiving is next week. And my birthday is a week before Thanksgiving, so it's always a crunch. Thank goodness we're not hosting Thanksgiving this year. We typically like.
like to host something in the you know during the holiday season but my baby brother's hosting this year so that's exciting in his new home um, we hosted last year and had a house full and it was amazing but this year going to new york coming back i knew it'd be on a high and coming back and just planning the whole you know thanksgiving meal i said no not Drea, not this year maybe next year because we really do enjoy it but okay guys i'm rambling i'm gonna check on layla and i'll pick the camera back up a little after i shower and get settled back fresh out of the shower made my coffee the plan is for us to start putting up at least one of our christmas trees our family we have a tree up for thanksgiving right when we have thanksgiving dinner that's family tradition so i followed that when we got married and last year guys for thanksgiving we had like every tree up because we knew how long it takes to put these up and we got them like on sale you know from lowe's i think walmart i mean dirt cheap like home depot and all that so we had, long story short, we had like four trees up. One in the kitchen, one here that I'll show you because it's time to take down our fall stuff. Um, one in the bonus room, which is facing the street so you can see it from the street, the big tree. And then we had one in my office. Guys, it was just too much, okay? It was gorgeous, but this year coming back um, from New York, so right before Thanksgiving, it's just a lot. So anyway, I think we're gonna take down fall stuff and I didn't even get a chance to do an official fall decor video. So I thought I would show you what we had um, this year for fall before I take it down, okay? As you enter the front door, here's our foyer table. It's not really how I had this decorated, guys. I've moved stuff around just, so you just please excuse this, but these are the pieces and they're absolutely beautiful. All of these are from Hobby Lobby. I love my fall sign here. It's a beautiful burnt orange. And these two right here, oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. So gorgeous. And I put these out right here in this table every year. Love my baby girl here, Layla. These are pictures of her. I need to update this. This just stays up. Okay, so that pretty much, we kept it simple here in the front. And as you can see here, I will have some like uh, holiday pillows and stuff like here. And I need some baskets that I saw actually at Home Goods, but that's a whole nother video. But anyway, this is just a little that we have in the foyer. And then here I have just, uh, this is a piece, I'm trying to think where I got this. Could be also either, uh, I think it is Hobby Lobby or it could be old time pottery. I don't know. I may have to look at this and I'll put it in the description box. So this is here. And then going into my office, it's really nothing. <laughs> I have another one of these from Hobby Lobby and I didn't do too much at all in here, guys. This is right here in my office. TV's above it, but this is really cute. So that's it. And then what else? Oh, and just my pillow for my sofa to stay cozy. I think that's cute. And it's right here at the front. So that is about it here. Now let's go into the living room. And I'll show you that area. This y'all, I need to take these pictures out and put in actual family pictures. We got this at Kirkland's and I still have not developed pictures, but the pictures I know will go in here will be the New York one. So I need to get some developed and that's here at the foyer also. So we wanna get some uh, professional Christmas pictures made. So that's also on our list. So much to do guys. Woo, okay. And here is my fall decor for our living room. So this is really nice. We got this at Hobby Lobby. And as you could see, we were really not here too much. And you see the tag is still on. I'm not taking it back. I love this thing. It is gorgeous, okay? And it turns on. It's a light on it too. Let's see if I can turn it on. Where is it? Oh, there it is. And you, it's like Christmas too. I don't know if you can see it on camera. So that's just the solid. And here's the blinking. Let me see how to do it. Is he gonna do it? Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking about the Christmas one. This goes to show how much I've turned this on. <laughs> but it's so beautiful, so beautiful. But again, it seems like this year, fall just flew by. And now it's time to take this down and put up my Christmas decor. And then here at the bottom, right here at the fireplace, we just have this gorgeous kind of um, artificial flower arrangement. 
and then some more of course this this right here is also Hobby Lobby of course just a different color these I got years ago I think at Walmart and these are just like really lightweight plastic then I have the cream color fall I have the orange in there in the uh, foyer but I love this and I love this burnt orange so this is just like both of these are just like the green I showed you in my office but I love this but I this pillow just oh my goodness I love the color I love burnt orange I probably should have had this one over here but anyway it's about to go come down but just have some pillows here on the fireplace so that is that it looks good but I cannot believe we're about to take this down very soon I'm not ready really and I love the holidays period I love Christmas but I love my fall decor y'all and then here just on the coffee table we just have this I think I got this at Walmart actually and it's just a you know a simple piece but it says a lot it's cute and then we got just a throw here that we got I think from Kirkland's also it was on sale so I love this color so it just adds some that you know a little bit of color here to the beige excuse me and black so that's what we did here then we have just a flower arrangement here in between my chairs and this gorgeous light that we got at Kirkland's this is not just part of the fall decor but we saw this around fall and had to have it and there's also one in my office it looks so good at night let me see if I can turn it on okay you can't really see it really bad. at night it's just it's so cozy it gives cozy vibes guys this thing was on sale I forgot but we hunted the second one down and girl they found it so I was excited um home is my oasis now I know I got this at old time pottery a couple of years ago and then just a little flower arrangement right here in the kitchen with my bananas <laughs> but that's it but I still don't want to take down my fall stuff yet I just came outside to show you some of the fall stuff and look at Layla hi baby tell them hi she does not like to see anybody around see you hear her barking totally forgot that my husband covered our beautiful flowers last night because i think it's a, or the first frost actually so these are still holding on guys they're still holding on and then we have our tennessee flag <laughs> i think they played today actually he um covered these for just to kind of help us keep these beauties a little bit longer there's Layla again. And then this right here, my husband put up the give thanks. So this is okay, I think. Well, this is okay because this is for Thanksgiving. And I guess we could keep this up. But here are our pumpkins. They're so cute. We got these at Publix. And he took out the flowers here. I think they're in the back because, yeah, I think he needed, he needed to cover these. I don't know. I am freezing, guys. You can tell I'm shivering when I'm talking. But, yeah, but this is all we all we have pretty much up front. So we'll have to start on the christmas day call very soon again i'm not ready and here is our beautiful wreath we got this from old time pottery as well as well as this to give thanks but this will stay up just through you know thanksgiving and then it has to go but we have another one like this for christmas and it is pretty so i'll take you along when we kind of completely decorate for christmas as well okay if y'all are interested please leave a comment in the comment section look at layla Hi, baby. You can't come out here without your leash. All right, let's get in. It's cold. I almost forgot to show you what we did in the bonus room. Very minimal, but we stay up here most of the time. This is our cozy spot. And look at Layla's stuff. I need to go through her. She likes socks and ponytail holders, guys, over her toys. So that's a whole nother topic. But anyway, um, this is just the fireplace mantle that I had prior to the one that I just showed you with the lights. So we just said, well, we'll use that one. It's so nice. We'll use it up here um, in the bonus room. And then we just have, that's my birthday, a card from my parents. But just these little, you know, fall colored little artificial flower things. These are so cute. I think I got this also at Hobby Lobby. No, you know what? I got that at Walmart. Actually, it is so cute. And just it's really little if it shows on camera but it's very small but it's very nice you know just perfect for these shelves i have for my entertainment center up here as well as the yellow and then of course layla again her first picture and then this always stays and then just another here but that's all we needed up here because we knew just before you know the time would come for my birthday we'd be packing and leaving and not even being up here so um that's what we had that's the last piece of the fall decor let me know what you think 
Hey guys, I thought I would just sit up here and talk to you for a minute while I go through this mail. We had so much stuff to come through when we were gone, but waiting on hubby to get home. He's running some errands for me. We went to Best Buy last night because for these videos, I need a mic that has a built-in microphone. So like when you're doing the voiceovers, it's not staticky, you know? So we went there and got these last night. So they were only 20 bucks. I was surprised because, you know, Best Buy, whoo, they are high, okay? But we got these. So these have the built-in mic. I should be, well, this is just really for my MacBook Pro to edit and to do the voiceover. So no need to do it here. This is a nice microphone on this camera. But we went and got those. And as I said earlier, I need to film content on this um, item that was sent to me buy a brand while I was out of town. And this is gonna be something we really will utilize when we travel and decided on the city yet, but we're going um, to California in June of next year for our anniversary. So we said that that was another place on our bucket list too that we wanted to explore. So let me know in the comment section what you think. I have a cousin that's in San Diego and he, he loves it. And then I have a friend who's a nurse practitioner who moved there recently and she likes it too. But I'm trying to decide because, you know, I want to see certain things. I'm a huge movie and TV show buff. So I love my um, Insecure. I love anything Housewives, okay? Anything Housewives, anything Housewives. Or right, we're gonna stay in the LA area, Long Beach maybe. Um, definitely wanna see Inglewood, the Nipsey mural kobe bryant mural so um i'm thinking i'm leaning more towards los angeles and the surrounding areas there sorry that's my husband texting but um that's what i'm thinking so what do you guys think if you've lived in california or visited california which one would you suggest for an anniversary this is our anniversary trip and we've never been neither one of us have been to california so this is our first time going to new york so that's one off the list but california is a must see we've been to florida and i know it's different in california you know the climate number one i'm all about some low humidity because here in tennessee it is hot okay and florida is no better so i'm anxious to see that in june um, to see how the climate is i just um got back this year in june from seattle for work my client is amazon so we were at the amazon facility we're psyched i mean i'm still on a high from new york y'all just meeting hoda was amazing that was a huge item on my bucket list she is she's something and i just love um just her story too on where she's come from and where she is here and you know her decision to step down from you know an anchor or co-anchor excited though to share content with you guys just more personal things about me i work remotely so i have the flexibility to you know cook while i'm working throughout the day definitely laundry and that kind of stuff Ooh, these braids y'all should have had them back up my husband gets home typically on saturdays we love nukes that's been our routine over the last i say month or so it's like we come home from the gym on saturday shower just kind of chill because our class is really early in the morning and then we'll go to nukes about you know when they open like about 10 30 11 o'clock but um i'm not feeling it today i just want some cream of wheat for some reason i'm just craving that and my coffee but we'll see so he'll be on his way home here shortly so not much else guys but maybe tackle a christmas tree today but that will probably be in another vlog i'm not going to do that today too much because i need to edit i have so much i need to do and then i've been out of work for a whole week so i need to really check on some work emails i hate going back to work and it's just chaotic you know i need to know what to expect <laughs> so that'll probably be sunday night i'm going to embrace this weekend this time this i'm still on that high i'm still on that high i just can't believe i met them and just some nicest people people tend to think you know new yorkers are just kind of uh, brash and just rude and all that and you saw a little bit of everything i hope i'm not crooked but um there were some really nice people very nice people there why is the tv on hold on oh no why is this thing scratched up oh my gosh oh gosh hold on
so we decided to come on into Home Depot. It is freezing, but we are kind of wanting another tree in our downstairs um, living room. We have vaulted ceilings and the tree we currently have is not as tall as I would like. So we just wanted to come through and see what they, what we can see. Look at Boo. Yeah, he said, let's go on out here. That's what we doing. Oh, Boo, look what about those. But we don't like that. That's for like a big yard. Our yard is not as big. So. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this. I love that. 7.5. Yeah, we're looking for at least, we're looking for nine feet for for our um, pencil. pencil tree. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yep, yep, yep. So we'll see. He was talking. <laughs> and I like this one, but I want it, yeah, nine feet, but I like the width. Mm -hmm. So if we can get that and see if maybe Amazon has it. Yeah, it's cute, but I like that one back there. But I don't want the colored lights. I want white lights. Right. We also try to stick to the four main food groups. Candy, candy canes. This is really candy corn. scary. <laughs> what? That is cool though. <laughs> it scared me at first, guys. Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> How funny. Well, didn't find anything here, so off to Lowe's really quickly. It is so late, guys, and we have not eaten dinner. We initially did not plan on taking down the fall stuff today, nor did we plan on putting up a Christmas tree, but here we are. <laughs> and we'll end up putting up more than the one tree. So this is the tree, y'all, that I said I probably would not put up, but we're putting it up anyway. And it's not too, not too many pieces, not too much, but you see this glitter all over the floor. It's mess. Yeah. Layla's just following behind me everywhere. So here, yep, we moved everything here. Layla always stays, but all this is up, so now I am just going to clean and get definitely move some of this stuff to get ready for our Christmas decor. So I will see you in the next vlog, and I hope you have a great one. Good night. Layla, say good night. See you next